Hi everyone, I'm Roxanne and I'm here today with Joe Butler from Intel. This webinar is more specifically for the Open IoT Challenge participants to get them started with building their Open IoT solutions. But anyone who's interested in doing that can benefit from that. So Joe will tell us a bit more about their software and hardware and what you can do with it. So Joe. Sure. Um, hi everybody, my name is Joe Butler. I am a, a product manager here at Intel in the uh, developer relations division. And I'm gonna tell you a little bit about our software and hardware um, uh, offerings that you can get started with. Um, so just to give you a little kind of overview, um, there's a new kit that we released last year and it's the UpSquared um, Grove IoT development kit. I'll talk a little bit about that. As well as um, we have uh, some new IDE capabilities with um, Arduino Create and uh, Intel System Studio. We'll talk about that. And then at the end, um, I'll, I'll cover our open source um, hardware abstraction um, libraries, uh, MRA and, and UPM. And then uh, there'll be uh, time for questions at the end. But if you have any you know, questions while you go, feel free to, to enter it in the, in the chat. Um, so the, this is the uh, UpSquared Grove IoT Development Kit. Um, basically, what you get is uh, the UpSquared board, and if you're not familiar with that, it's it's basically a single board computer um, that has you know HDMI, um, SATA, USB three, uh, mini PCIe. It's it's pretty pretty much got everything you can think of, um, as well as some uh, sensors made by Seed um, that you can put on top. It's uh, actually got a board right here, so. Um, Essentially, it's a Raspberry Pi um, electrical, electric compatible, or electrically and mechanically compatible. And you can, um, you know, you, you can you can plug in Raspberry Pi hats. This one is the Grove um, Pi Plus, so it's made for Grove sensors that you can plug in, you know, basically without uh, having to solder. Um, they have you know dozens of sensors on their website. Um, the kit comes with, you know, uh, eight or nine sensors that you can get started with, buttons and LEDs and some of the, the common things. Um, and this board's really great for, uh, it's it's kind of an all-purpose board. It's really great for, uh, you know, high computing applications like computer vision or, um, you know, even some, some machine learning um, or, you know, sort of industrial controls and things that really require a lot of um, intense, you know, CPU power. Um, it's, it also can, you know, drive a display. It's like I said, it's got a HDMI and um, display port. So, you know, you could do something like, you know, this could go in like a, a kiosk, right, where you have a, a screen and possibly a, a camera, um, as well as some, you know, data analytics or, you know, sensors um, and networking. So, um, it's 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 really a, a great single board computer. Um, and so that's that's a little bit about this kit. You can find it on um, Seed Studio's website as well as the upshop.org. Um, it's selling for about two hundred fifty dollars, two forty nine. And so that's a little bit about that kit. Um, what I really like about this kit is it's super super simple to get started. Um, it you know five to ten minutes um, once you get it out of the box, you know, get it going. And I'll show you a little bit about that. And I'll also um, uh, have Roxanne send a link about you know showing that setup process right it, that's really fast so um, that that basically is is using Arduino Create um, and if you're not familiar with Arduino Create it's a in fact let let me share my screen that'll that'll help um, it's it's basically um, an uh, Arduino's IDE but in the cloud so. Um, you can think of it as, if you're familiar with the uh, traditional Arduino IDE, it's very similar, but now it's running in the cloud and you're deploying remotely to your devices. Um, so getting it set up, you know, you plug it in and it basically like automatically configures to your account. And, you know, you can push sketches to it um, from the internet. So you don't have to be physically connected to your um, device you know, connect a connection to the internet. And the other can run multiple sketches, right? Um, so in a, you know, traditional ID, you can only run one, right? But in 
you can run as many as you'd like. Uh, and since it's the upsquared board is running uh, Ubuntu 16.04, it comes shipped with Ubuntu 16.04 uh, server. Essentially, you know, you can you can just run a bunch of there are just a bunch of Linux processes that are running, so you can run as many as you'd like. Um, there's a lot of built-in examples that we have for the upsquared board. Uh, let me find them. So um, there's uh, you know about eight here we've got coming soon around uh, computer vision um, using sensors. And so basically what you would do is um, your board would show up here in the list. I don't have mine connected right now, but um, you would select it. And then you would just like in Arduino, Arduino IDE, you would upload it and it would compile in the cloud and then push the sketch to your board and run it. So, um, that's uh, essentially you know how that works. Um, the 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 really interesting thing about this is it's um, you know basically you can also at, run other other libraries right that you wouldn't traditionally run in, in uh, Arduino IDE so um, OpenCV is is included now so um, let me find it so this is actually the full OpenCV um, you know project that uh, you can find on OpenCV.org um, now running you know through Arduino on a Linux board. So that's uh, really powerful because you can now, you know, you can add other libraries yourself, um, or you can you can use the ones that are that are built in. Um, let me uh, let me go ahead and uh, explain a little bit more about um, the uh, Emron UPM and how they're integrated into um, Arduino Create. So uh, if you're if you're familiar with, um, you know, adding sensors, right, to a to a board, um, essentially what you do is you you go buy a sensor, right? Um, usually comes with some sort of sample code, but um, not always. And you know, you need to plug it in and, and figure out how to make it work, right? Um, what we've done with this open source project called uh, MRA, and let me let me um, show you the website, MRA and UPM. Um, UPM. Um, in fact, let me go back to my to my slides uh, here. So let me skip to here. Let me show you this first. Um, so MROS is basically an, a hardware abstraction layer. So it it creates this like standard I/O for all all these boards that are running Linux. So um, instead of having a you know separate way to talk to you know uh, gpio on one board versus another um, it abstracts all that so it's the same pi and, and actually that you could even use the same code um and underneath underneath there's an abstraction of you know okay well it knows that this board is a um upscored versus a you know min award or something else right that correctly in, in linux so what this what this allows you to do is then have you know common code that will run all these um, IOs right and it's all open source so it's the MIT license you can go you can go add to your own board um, you can fork it and you know add new IO if you want um, so what this what this really allows us to do is to then create an, uh, a layer on top of that for sensors. And this is our, our what we call the UPM library. So um, basically, on, on top of MRA's APIs, we now have, have um, a, a huge sensor library. So there's over 300 sensors in this in, the, in this uh, collection, um, and they're all written on top of MRA. So um, you know, you you basically uh, have a board that works with MRA, and now you've got access to like over 300 sensors. Um, so let let me um, show you a little bit what that means. So um, if you're if you're uh, if you're looking to get started, right? So you can come to this site and you can you know look for a, a, a type of sensor, right? So let's say you're trying to do um, right here. So analog joystick. So um, you can filter by you know categories. You can search 
search by part number because they're, they're, all the code is written um, in terms of the part number, if you can see, as you can see here. Um, so you come here, you'll look, you'll look through it, and make sure that you know, okay, this is the one that you have. Just basically copy the sample code into your project and um, and run it, and you know that at least gets you started, right? And then you can add it to your project and and tweak it how you'd like. But um, the cool thing is that all MRA and UPM are um, written in C, and then we create bindings for Java, Python, um, Node.js. Right, so you can. It's more, you know, it got multiple language support, um, and it's it's really flexible in that way. So this is kind of the the number one way to to get started quickly is you, you know, find the sensors that you want, um, and you know, get the code, put it on your board, and and run it. So um, now, if you come here and you find sensors and you don't find a sensor that that you're interested in. Then there's a couple things you can do. One is you can find a similar sensor that uses the same um, I/O and might have the same calls. So, um, for example, like uh, maybe this uh, accelerometer or you know temperature sensor. If there's another one that's very similar, then maybe you can just use that code, even though it's not exactly made for it. Um, or you can may have to tweak it slightly. As you fall back to using MRA, so you could just do, you know, I2C commands or DPIO commands yourself, um, and that would work just fine too. So um, the the cool thing is that this is all built into Arduino Create. Um, let me show you an example. So um, to use this, the the Grove LCD, for example, is um, is really straightforward. You basically you know, add it. So this is the part number of the the Grove LCD that comes in the upscored kit. Um, and then you you in, initialize it. Um, you know, I2C port, and this is all kind of default. And then um, you know, there's there's sample code included, and this is basically lifted straight from um, the UPM site and and put in here, and and it'll run. You're well on your way to to getting started. Um, so that's that's a little bit about you know the open source uh, hardware abstraction libraries and Arduino Create. Now the the really cool thing too is that if you're um, in in Arduino Create and you you feel like you really want more from an IDE, right? Um, in terms of uh, you know debugging or you know advanced like system tools and profiling, you can get that through Intel's uh, Intel System Studio 2018. So um, it's a um, it's it's basically an Eclipse IDE and um, has all these you know um, profiling tools and power profiling and graphics profiling and memory profiling and all this these advanced capabilities. So you, what you can actually do is you can take your project here um, and you can export it. Let me. Uh, it won't work if I do it in one of the examples, but. Um, and I have to you have to do it out of your sketchbook. So if you if you export it, you can you know just basically export a CMake file, and you you can then import it into Studio and you know then continue your development in there. So um, that's you know basically a, a kind of a you know if lets you get started with Arduino Create if you want. You can move over to uh, Intel. System Studio for advanced capabilities. So, um, yeah, that's that's um, that's pretty much it. I guess let's um, let's open it up for questions. So we currently have no questions, but okay, that doesn't mean that there won't be any. So I'll just give them a few minutes. So thanks, Joe. Um, we will have another webinar. Um, the date is not scheduled yet, but it's with Contact Software. So we'll announce that on the Open IoT Challenge mailing list and on our Twitter. So look for that. And yeah, sure. so there are no other questions. OK, um, since we have a couple minutes, let me um, let me just point out that we have, uh, if, you're, if you're interested in learning more about the UpSquared board, um, there's a couple of uh, demos that you can find on YouTube. and um, and that she'll put the link to. 
Um, and Roxanne, I'll send you another one as well. It's, it's, it kind of shows the, you know, it's basically like, you know, what what do you do when you get the upscored kit and, and how it, how easy it is to set it up. So um, I'll, I'll send that out as well. Perfect. And I'll add the link to the webinar, the previous webinar, which you mentioned in the description. Sure. So thanks, Joe. If you have questions as a viewer, just put them in the comments and I'll forward them to Intel for you. And then we'll add the answer in the comments as well. So thanks again and have a good day. All right. Thanks. Bye.